Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Realism Overhaul series in Kerbal Space Program 0.24.2. In this episode, I hope to get my little general purpose lander over to Phobos, the closest moon to Mars, and also its largest moon. Uh, though uh, saying it's large is, is a bit of a stretch anyway. It's a tiny little potato, but still. Uh, we've got the third stage hanging out with the lander because the third stage is... Uh, replete with uh, solar panelry and we need that because we don't have the very good solar panels and otherwise we'll probably uh, be drained out of electric charge. So uh, we've got the mid-course plane change already set. Uh, that will have to be done without, without any help from this probably. Uh, thankfully we do have a lot of... Ooh, not what I wanted to do. A lot of uh, Delta V in the top, but I don't know if I can have this hanging out uh, while that is happening. We'll have to see. So, so lots of complications, but uh, let's get out into interplanetary space and uh, try out this mid-course plane change and see how much electric charge we have at that point and whether we can dump this third stage or not. Okay, so here we go. Okay, we went a little bit past our burn point, but uh, no big deal. I'm going to tell Flight Computer to uh, head for the node here. And then what we're going to do is probably use the Ullage rockets first to settle things down, then light this engine one more time. Oh, there's, there's really no fuel. Yeah, we, we are totally out of fuel, so no, we're not going to light that engine at all. We will use the Elders rockets, though, since they have like 70-odd Delta V in them. And then... Then what? Then is a little bit of a trick, isn't it? Because on this lander, we've only got these 1 kilonewton rockets, and they are blocked by this. Hmm... We've got some stored up electric charge. We've got uh, maybe four or five days worth. Okay, anyway, uh, let's uh, get this maneuver. So we're going to have to ditch this, and that's going to cause problems, but... but that's life. What's probably going to happen is I'm going to have to shut down the main dish, and what we're going to do is rely on this antenna to connect with the satellites so that we already have around... Mars. And the satellites around Mars will have to relay the stuff back to Earth. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but we'll, we'll have to see. If if the electric charge situation is an issue, that's the, that's the plan. Okay, so we are... Oh, it needs RCS. I don't have enough torque in this. Okay. Okay, RCS is on. Can we uh, turn now? We know the RCS ports are working because we did that last time. We used a lot of RCS stuff. Or do I have to give the whole... You know, I'm, I'm sick of this. Uh, no? Even Smart ASS can't handle this? Okay, what's up? Hmm. Okay. Right. Doesn't really matter whether those work or not. These will suffice. RCS is on. Let's try this again. Oh, there we go. Or not so much. The the maneuver the maneuvers there. Oh, crud. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's what? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. No, no, that's not good. I think we've hit glitches. I think we've hit glitches. Uh, 
UI glitches. Okay, buzz off. Um, got to program in the exact pitch and heading here. Looks like about two on the pitch, uh, maybe five on the heading. We'll have zero roll. Okay, well that'll do. Okay. Yes, no. No? And can Smart ASS eventually do this? Or. We're getting pretty far away from a maneuver node now. Nope. Smart ASS can't, even after the time delay. Signal delay. Okay, let's double check. We have a connection. Obviously, otherwise it wouldn't be showing the signal delay. Yeah. Last ditch attempt. Let's see. Uh, maneuver planner. Execute next node. Nope. I can't manually control it. I I just uh, ordered certain bursts of the RCS and it wasn't working. Maybe the RCS isn't on. Because uh, we've clearly got GUI issues. I don't know. Okay. Well, now it thinks it's off. What do you think? Yeah, you think it's off too. Okay. Now, what caused it to do the burst in the... Uh, for a little while there. It did manage an RCS burst and and yet I don't know what caused that. No. Sorry for this folks. I, I think we we've got a dud here. I don't know what's going on. Huh. Well, assume, assuming uh, things haven't changed dramatically in remote tech from the last time I used it, and that's that's a pretty tough assumption. Hmm. There really shouldn't be any problem here. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, it worked when Flight Computer wasn't interfering. Once Flight Computer interferes, but we still got these GUI problems. Once Flight Computer interfered, then we had all sorts of issues. Okay. So, absolutely no Flight Computer. Can't do Flight Computer. Alright. Uh, let's uh, use the Elders Rockets for a little boost. Uh, but when I press spacebar, it is flight computer. I can't do anything about that, can I? Yeah. Okay, but that uh, happened. Good. And let me just get rid of everything there. Now, if I... Throttle up using RCS. Is that a thing? No. No, I can't give RCS commands. But we've still got some fuel here that we could use. I'm trying to figure out a way to use the fuel in this. can't really tell maneuver planner to execute the next node okay well we're gonna abandon quite a bit of our electric charge generation and we'll probably have to turn off this antenna 
on our way in, so that's all sorts of trouble. But I don't see any way to fix this otherwise. Let's do that. Okay, a stage one spell. I'll have to see what that actually does. We're, we are already one hour late for our maneuver. Okay, that does that. Stage again. Oh, it did not read that. Hopefully. Uh, I'll do it manually here. Okay. Now it's just this guy. I swear there was something I could turn off somewhere. Well, they're not really facing the sun right now. Let me fix that so I get a proper read on this. Oh, I can't fix it. I need to do the maneuver. Okay, so. Stage again to ignite these. I can just stage as much as I like at this point. Okay, and then I'll tell it to huh, hold that if it can, and then burn, let's say 750 meters per second, full throttle. Uh oh, it's going awry. Come on. No, 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 that's bad. Okay. Yeah, this is horrible. The problem is now Flight Computer doesn't let me use Smart ESS to fix it. God, this is a lot of waste. Oh. Okay, well, if this is going to be how it's going to be, I'm going to have to turn off signal delay because uh, clearly, I can't deal with this anymore. It's not a matter of planning. It can't point to the maneuver node. I tell it to hold the maneuver node, but it just does not want to do that. Yeah, great. Okay, so flight computer can't do that. We wasted a bunch of Delta V there. I'm going to see if I can manually fire the engines. I don't know if that's going to work or not. So I've throttled up, but I don't know if it's going to work. And it's not. So I can't throttle up. Last ditch attempt is to... Uh, not money food planner. Execute next node. Well, I know one system that can actually do these. Wish it wouldn't fire the RCS to balance things so much, but I don't totally blame it. Uh, that's because the, there are solar panels on this side, but not on the other side. Uh, and uh, most of the instrumentation is on this side. So it is somewhat unbalanced. So yeah, the long and short of it is, unless somebody can tell me how to get mission computer, mission, uh, flight computer to point to the maneuver node properly, I mean, of course it's likely to be something I'm doing wrong, but unless I can figure that out, I'm going to have to disable signal delay after this mission. Actually, uh, I don't know if I can even land on Phobos with that problem. We'll see. 
But I think we're short on fuel now as far as landing on Phobos is concerned. Oh, there we go. Okay, a little bit too far. Okay. Alright, I'll take it. Uh, what is it? 374 kilometers. Closer than I expected, though it's uh, tweaking out a little bit here. Um, yeah, okay, uh, let's turn off RCS after a long delay. Uh, no, I shouldn't have done that. I wanted to point at the sun first. Where is the sun? Okay, right, uh, pitch negative 90, heading doesn't really matter, execute. Okay, that's just got us pretty good, and I believe... No, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, yeah, signal delay, it's got the RCS getting turned off okay uh, so we still got some charge coming in but that's gonna have to be something I watch and now we don't have a periapsis anymore possibly the extra RCS burning caused us to lose that we'll see what the situation is once we get in there now Yeah, we do have a line back from from Mars to home, though it seems to be intermittent. Okay, now we've got problems. Oh, and we don't get to see what our time warp is. That's nice. Okay. I've been having uh, UI issues with uh, other installs with other things. This is 64-bit, uh, so I had UI issues with 32-bit. Now I'm having totally different issues with 64-bit. So, yeah, any information on that, that would be nice. Uh, RCS on is not reading, so maybe I'm still, aha, I'm still on the high time warp, and now it shows me. Okay, RCS on, and then, well, we'll have to wait for that before I execute. Okay, close that. Now execute. Can not do that? No. Let me make sure flight computer is not interfering. Okay, now I'm not getting any help from Smart ASS. Maybe it's maneuver planner that's game. Okay. Remove all nodes. No, it shouldn't be. Electric charge is fine. Shouldn't be doing anything there. Hmm. Okay, now it likes that. That's just a matter of the coincidence that the target is opposite the sun. Well, not really a coincidence, that's partly by planning. Okay, stop that. Okay, well that saved us for a tiny little bit of time. Electric charge diminishing. Looks like it didn't plan this out very well. Still pointed directly at the Sun. So no way to improve that situation. How much does this take? 0.2. Well, we can deactivate that for now. 
well, after the message gets sent in 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna have to... Ooh, that's gonna be dicey. But yeah, what's going to happen is I'm gonna have to hope that I can pick up one of those... Those satellites back home, let's see, they're, they're not even communicating with home right now, it looks like. Whew, okay. And so I'm going to have to use the short range antenna for that. It is uh, going dormant if you like. Electric charge okay, but connection not okay. Okay, it looks like we're on a crash course right now. Let me go to... Let me go to our G-stat around Earth. And that might be able to communicate. Uh, I'll direct that. To, well, let, actually, let's see which one it should communicate with. So the situation is that we've got these uh, satellites and they're tuned to active vessel, but that's not going to help us right now. So I want this to uh, tune to Mars 1A, I think. Well, that'll certainly do better than active vessel. Let's see if that creates a link with Mars. Yeah, okay, so that uh, creates that link with Mars. And so this is actually our Geosync F, which will actually go behind Earth for quite a while. So not the best one to use. But then I wanted to switch the name of this anyway, so I'm going to do that. Geosync F was our failed geosynchronous satellite. This is our successful one. So let's just uh, oh, stop that. It's the UI still. Okay, now we can uh, fix this. All right, so I'll tell this to tune to Mars 1A, or shall I tell it to tune to Mars 1? Probably Mars 1A. Because that's the one that doesn't act like it's autonomous. Come on. Okay. Rename vessel. So this is Geosync. Set. Okay. Good deal. So now we've got both of those tuned. Maybe I should just tune it to Mars. What am I doing? Oh, or Duna, of course. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just have this tuned to Duna instead of anything specific. That's a better plan. But I'll have the Geosync F tuned directly to Mars 1A, just for security's sake. Alright, I think we are good to continue now. Okay, so still no connection, and that is of course because we're not close enough to Duna to pick up the satellites that are already are around there. So I can't make any course correction right now. That means we're currently aimed uh, at a crash course. And we'll see how long it takes before I can get a connection. Don't know if we'll even have enough time to do a maneuver here. Wait, where is... Oh, there it is. Okay. Whew. I was going like, where is the antenna? Okay, it is out. And uh, Mars is quickly approaching. Okay, we have connection. But it's a long delay. All right, so let's uh, plot, plot to save ourselves.
but I also have to air a brake, so gotta be very careful about this. Reviewing the videos, I think uh, 40 kilometers ish will be good. We gotta take a bit of a risk. And I'm gonna go lower than the last time I AO braked around Mars. Well, might as well. Uh, obviously, can't do anything with. That so I'm gonna be circumventing the signal delay, unfortunately, but I have no choice in this case. So, uh, if you have any information about what is up with with the interaction between me and uh, flight computer, let's just say it that way, because I don't want to totally blame the mod if I'm doing something wrong, but. But the fact that it doesn't turn to the maneuver node, that's, that's the key thing I want to focus on here. RCS on doesn't turn to the maneuver node. Uh, yeah, I would like some, some feedback on that. It wouldn't be a problem if uh, it would just let Smart ASS turn to maneuver node and hold that while it did the burning, then I could use the signal delay, that's fine. No problem there. But the problem begins when it doesn't let SmartSS hold it, and it can't hold it either. I'll just let it do it. Okay, I believe retrograde would be a good idea. Let's see what is our. Ooh, that's a bit deep. Okay, uh, thirty-nine kilometers. So mark that. This is uh, another aero capture test. I'll turn that off. All right, now how many of our solar panels need to break off? Uh, let's see. I guess we'll manually give the commands to retract. We should activate this now. So we now have a direct link back, I think. That's good, just in case the other satellites go in an unfortuitous direction. We've got three days worth of electric charge on board. All right. Uh, have to retract this one, obviously. Let's deactivate that. And let's have this holding retrograde. Still got connection, but this is gonna be out of our hands. So, checking out the situation with a uh, periapsis of 39, I think uh, it's either this tank or the RCS ports that are going to have the most, most exposure to heat. Oh, it says temperature zero already. Is that because it's not properly configured for deadly re-entry or... This one is reading negative 130 and climbing. Uh, 
Huh. I guess the RCS ports are just not reading temperature right now. What the dish? Oh, it is. Ah, uh, landing struts. Okay, landing struts seem to be heating up the most. All right. Ah, when I don't have connection, the Smart ESS can't work. That's unlike the flight computer, which can continue issuing, uh, continuing to uh, obey the command when I don't have connection with it. Okay, here we go. Bit hot. Not too sure about the calm music at this point. Periaps, this is dipping a bit. We're going to be in this a little bit longer than I would have liked. a lot longer than I would have liked. Okay, we're going up and we are cooling down. That's not quite how temperature works, but but okay. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. orbit we have orbit so now as long as we don't have too tight an orbit we've got a good aero capture altitude okay I think we're pretty safe. Nothing exploded. At least nothing I heard. Yep, still good. So now uh, Phobos currently with Bob standing in for it. Obviously the timing of this mission, uh, somewhat in honor of both uh, MAVEN and the Mars Orbiter mission, and I wasn't going to mention that until we actually got into orbit around Mars. Uh, this, uh, it's no good uh, saying that the mission is uh, in honor of something if, uh, if it's a total failure, right? Um, so yeah. But I... I wasn't able to correct the inclination. I should have fixed the inclination beforehand. Oh, we're going in the opposite direction of Phobos. Well, maybe I spoke too soon about it not being a failure. Um, uh, 
No, that the uh, I was checking whether one of them was a retrograde moon, but they they're not. They're both uh, they're both going in the same direction. Happy to have arrow break though, considering all of our problems. If we could come down on the correct side, maybe we could try for a landing on Mars. I don't know. Uh, let's let's just quickly see if we can get a fortuitous encounter with Phobos somehow. Phobos goes by pretty quickly though. All right, so change the plan. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and land on Mars for the first time. Almost certainly going to be a failure. We're going to take it in slow breaking passes don't know how much that's gonna take but we'll see and we're gonna need to make sure to maintain connection now if only I could fire the RCS myself that would really be handy, but I can't. So, maneuver planner again, go ahead. Okay, abort, abort, stop that. That looks close enough. I don't know, it might bring us down to the surface on the, on the side that we have no communication, which would be bad. Or it might work out, we'll see. Coming in in the wrong direction compared to the moons. Rookie mistake, of course. Okay, here we go for arrow breaking number two. Well, I don't have much to say right now. All I can say is I hope that this thing does not end up hitting the ground right now. I just wanted to bring its orbit down and then I can uh, do a more controlled situation. I mean, as far as actually uh, bringing it down, it's going to be a tough thing as it is. Depending on how much drag the atmosphere actually produces. What we're going to find out is how much the atmosphere can actually slow down a craft. And therefore how much we need to uh, pack in order to further decelerate it into a landing. But there's also the connection issue, so... Mm, we're uh, we're still headed down. I think we're going to crash. And we don't have connections so I can't do any last minute science. Uh, okay. Alright, here we go. That was too close. If we can get a connection at any point, I will rapidly do some science, but I don't see that happening right now. I'm 
We're... Yeah, wow, that thing just brought us right down. Actually, we'll still see the... We'll still get some pretty good data. Let's, uh, let's take a look. I want to find out terminal velocities, how well it decelerates us. I want to see the heat. Uh, the landing legs were the main thing. Oh, it's spinning, so it's tough for me to target them. Okay, mi micro landing strut, yeah. So we'll see heat going down. Can't really see the vehicle very well, but... Sorry for the little spinny, but can't do anything about that now. So, we will get data on a potential landing on Mars, so this has not been a total waste. And we did get the proper aero capture altitude, so that is very good. Looks like terminal velocity around 2000 and it's uh, decelerating us pretty nicely. Obviously I couldn't have the the shorter range antenna out because it would snap under high dynamic pressure which we are going to experience that small antenna would have allowed us to communicate with the Mars 1 or Mars 1A which would relay back to Earth perhaps. I have to remember to tell my Geosync stats to, stats to um, go back to communicating with active vessel. Maybe. Maybe I should just have a dedicated Mars antenna anyway at this point. We'll probably continue to do Mars uh, adventures for a little while. Temperatures still going up but not too bad. We're decelerating very well. We're now on a uh, at about uh, Kerbin velocities here. Temperature is now decreasing. Thermal velocity 800. Don't know what the altitude of the land is. I think we gotta find that out in a hurry. We are now below the delta V remaining in this vehicle. Meaning that there was a very tiny potential for landing. But not if the altitude is 5034 meters for the surface. So we would only have had about 100 meters a second to spare which is not enough. So we wouldn't have been able to make a landing anyway. Yep. But yeah, interesting stuff. Okay, so uh, we'll call this one a failure. Uh, we will try again and we will have... the solar panels actually weren't a problem now because we did manage to uh, get communication back so that wasn't actually a problem. Uh, the fact that we burned a lot of uh, Delta V coming in because uh, flight computer couldn't turn to maneuver node was a bit of a problem. Uh, the fact that I came in in the wrong direction obviously uh, killed our ability to transfer to Phobos slash Bop and so that is something I need to worry about but yep okay all right, well, we will try again. So on that note, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, specifically with regard to flight computer, the, the UI glitching that we saw, uh, that is an issue that I would like to have addressed. So if you have any ideas about that, please do mention them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.